Hey guys, what's up? I just want to start by saying uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to uh, the people in Las Vegas. I'm praying for you guys. These images are just horrible and I feel terrible at this moment. So uh, yeah, praying for Las Vegas. So as promised, a little bit of a different vlog this week. Uh, I had no gigs this weekend, but uh, I asked you to send me some of your questions and I got some really cool questions in my email. So it's time to answer them. Do you still get goosebumps when playing classic trans tracks? Yeah, I get a lot of goosebumps so when playing trance tracks uh, all the time. There's so much, so many tracks I could mention now. Just from the top of my head, uh, the Ramsterdam, uh, Lost by Sun Lounger, uh, Ferracocha still does it for me, uh, Davy Asprey, Fallout, definitely one of my favorite tracks of the year. I get goosebumps when I play that. Is there any upcoming album for you or Gaia? Um, actually, uh, I'm working on the Gaia album as we speak. Uh, also, my next singles are ready. Uh, super happy to tell you I'm actually working on the State of Trance, a 50 anthem song as we speak. There's no artist album as Army Van Buren is scheduled as yet, but I have a lot of music I'm working on, so who knows, uh, maybe I'll decide to do an album later this year or early next year. Uh, but the Gaia album definitely has priority at the moment. How do you invite people to be in the studio during the radio show? How do you select them? I select the people uh, that we invite in the radio studio uh, for Service for Dreamers based on your story. Uh, we get a lot of uh, emails for Service for Dreamers and uh, uh, the idea is that you share a trans track with a story. And the more touching your story, uh, the bigger the chances that you are invited to the studio in Amsterdam. Almost every week we have a special guest, but we can also call you or do a video uh, uh, conference call. Um, so if you have any suggestions for Service for Dreamers, uh, send an email to armin at estateoftrans.com and uh, put in the subject line Service for Dreamers. And again, the more touching your story, uh, the bigger the chances are that we invite you to the studio in Amsterdam if you can make it, otherwise we'll give you a call. What's something that you think the music world is currently missing? I do miss sometimes a little bit of fun, a little bit of humor in, in uh, trans music. I'm, I'm not saying it should be a comedy show. Just, you know, my track Ping Pong was meant as a joke and it was just, you know, also the title of uh, my label Who's Afraid of 138 is of course meant as an irony. Uh, you know, sometimes trans music is very serious and this is okay, uh, it's not criticizing it, but I do think sometimes we can use a little bit of fun element. Like if you go to a movie, uh, there's usually a few uh, ironic or, or funny moments in there. And the next one comes from Poland. Are you going to play a set B2B with Gaia? Have you heard any news from them? Well, I spoke to the guys from Gaia. I know they're working on an album. Uh, back to back set with me will be a little hard because uh, my schedule is so full. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, I will ask them when they release the album. I hope within a year this would be really cool. Uh, and uh, I hear they have some big plans. What does this mean? I mean, your logo of a state of trance. As you can see, it's also the logo of my bag of university. That's a good question actually. Uh, I designed the logo together with a logo designer back in 2003, I believe. Um, the initial idea was uh, to break the circle of, uh, you know, normal boring life with some, you know, epic trans melodies, to break the circle of your daily routine and, uh, you know, to bring some happiness. But in fact, you could give it any meaning that you want it to mean. What is your favorite places in Ibiza and your favorite set on island for all time? Favorite places in Ibiza? Well, there's many. Uh, personally, I always go to this restaurant called Sacapea, which is uh, near San Antonio. It has such a nice Ibiza vibe for me. Uh, I love the beaches. Basically, all the beaches up north are, are, are perfect. And you can even go when it's super busy on the island. You can find some places where there's almost no people. So I really recommend going up north on the island. And some of my favorite sets in Ibiza, well, this year in high was just simply incredible to be there. A new night it was a big uh, uh, gamble to do uh, this new night in Ibiza, a new club, but I'm super happy it was a big success, especially the closing night was a very special night to me. Also the night where we, uh, where we played back to back with Sonnery James, Afrojack and Martin Garrix was, uh, was super nice. The fact that they came to hang out was, uh, was really cool. So yeah, I really can't wait to go to Ibiza next year. So that's it from me for so far. Uh, next time I'll announce when I'll do another uh, fan video vlog. Uh, super cool uh, for all your questions. Have an amazing day and let's quickly go to the radio studio. I'm back in the studio this week to record episode 834 of A State of Trance. Lots of new tracks, including a new one by Alpha 9 and Alex Sonata. Also, to premiere tracks from his brand new album. Hey. 
Mr. Purple Haze. So don't forget to tune in this week for a new episode of A State of Trance on YouTube, on Facebook, episode 834. And see you next week for a new vlog.